Gilbert Biotre was an Acadian from Prince Edward Island that I call a, a Renaissance man. He was uh, well educated, he had been educated on the island but also went to a classical college in the province of Quebec and he mastered the French language and was very good also in English. Gilbert Biotre was a teacher and he taught uh, for about 40 years, especially in Prince Edward Island, but a few years he decided to uh, go off the island. He taught in St. Mary's Bay, Nova Scotia, a bit in Maine, and also around Capelli, New Brunswick. And he came back to the island in the very early 1890s. And what struck him when he, was, when he came back was how much the Acadians were losing their French language, were being anglicized. He said, we have to do something about it. And one way, he thought, was by uh, founding a newspaper, a French language newspaper in Tignish. So that's how L'Impartial came about in 1893 with the help of his son, Joseph, who was in charge of printing the paper itself. And uh, through the newspaper, Buat launched quite a few ideas. And one of them was to set up an association of the Acadian teachers on the island that they could meet annually, discuss in French about the ways of keeping the language alive, of better teaching French in public schools where most of the books were in English. And that association uh, was kept up until 1972. And every year there would be uh, annual conventions held in different Acadian parishes where uh, not only the teachers uh, met, but also the leaders of the communities, the parish priests, the, uh, uh, the store owners, and they would discuss ways of maintaining Acadian identity and Acadian uh, and the French language alive on the island. And uh, that was very important. And in fact, at some of the conventions, new projects were launched. The most important uh, project was the creation of the St. Thomas Aquinas Society, La Société Saint Thomas d'Aquin, which uh, was set up to help raise funds for the education of young Acadians so that they could go to college, they could go to university. And another project that came out was in 1955 at the convention where it was suggested to create the Acadian Historical Society of Prince Edward Island. And other projects came out through this uh, association that Buat had suggested and helped found in 1893. Gilbert Buat had many interests and one of them was history and genealogy. So he uh, used his uh, newspaper to publish articles uh, about the history of families, of communities, and also published some genealogy of the people of Tignish and uh, Cascompec. And in fact, he had a project to write a complete history of the Acadians of Prince Edward Island. It seems that his manuscript was almost uh, finished by the time he died in 1904, but unfortunately, uh, the book was never published. But some of his research was used by uh, other historians that came along, such as uh, Henri Blanchard. Uh, also, he, uh, he wrote what is believed to be the first Acadian novel written by an Acadian in the Maritime Provinces. It was called Placide l'Homme Mystérieux, and it was published in 1903, first in uh, L'Impartial itself, and then it was published in a, in a book form. And it's a, quite an interesting story. It's about an Acadian from Prince Edward Down who was a detective who was called to New York by the chief of police of the city to help resolve some crime in this, in the, this American city. So uh, the story was that an Acadian who was proud of his identity because when he went to New York, you know, he, he, uh, he made sure that people knew he was French, he was Acadian. And that was a way of showing that Acadians could do great things if they were educated and proud of their identity. So that was one of the projects that uh, Buat had. And uh, 
with all what he did uh, for the Acadians in those years, in the 1890s especially, and, uh, and early 20th century, he left his mark uh, on the Acadian uh, population on the island. Thank you.